r slash pro revenge mice helped me fire my wicked step manager long post warning i added all the background because it makes the payoff so much better the universe aligned the starts for me with this story my old co-workers and i still talk about it backstory i was working at a popular coffee shop chain in a high volume swanky location as a barista we were specially trained to make fancier novelty drinks compared to other locations i loved my team and my manager and for the most part everyone got along then my manager informed us she was moving to another location and we would be getting a new store manager to this new manager who we will call jack was an old assistant manager from this location he trained here before becoming the store manager of his own location Jack would be returning to be our new manager. Since he had experience in these fancier stores from his training days, everyone in the store dreaded his return. From what I gathered, Jack was an a-hole when he was an assistant manager. Within the first few weeks, things went downhill. He started writing up certain baristas constantly for infractions that others got away with. He slashed everyone's hours from full-time to part-time. Claiming that our job description never stated we were entitled to full time. One barista went from 39.75 hours a week to 16.50. Jack claimed our company had no write up expiration date. So he was writing up baristas based on clock in latenesses within our time management software from when our old manager still ran the store. People went from a clean record to final warning within one meeting with him. Those who had worked with him before organized themselves into a list of who would get fired next. We didn't suspect there was a personal vendetta against certain baristas who knew him when he was an assistant manager. We knew there was. One by one. Several people were fired. All in the order they knew they would be fired. Others found jobs elsewhere. It became a race against the clock. Either quit or wait to be fired for something trivial. We brought up these issues with our district manager. But he ignored them slashing hours and getting corners including cutting corners on cleaning standards was proving to be beneficial to the district manager and he was not interested in helping us i was badly burned by our drip brewer and he refused to help me fill out the workers comp report as he was too busy placing the weekly order i had extremely bad cramps in my thigh and went to urgent care i was one of the last walk-ins at the clinic and left after they closed when I sent him a picture of the doctor's note, he googled the location from the letterhead and claimed I faked the note since the place was supposed to be closed. Jack belittled me and other baristas on the cafe floor, in front of customers. My mental and physical health suffered. When one of my good friends was fired, I quit with nothing else lined up because I feared I was either going to break down or get fired. This friend, Anthony, got me a job at my current workplace, after Anthony got fired. He struggled to make ends meet with just the one job. I helped him out by preparing large batches of food and dropping them off at his workplace. I met his manager and got an interview the following week. I had been working at this place for probably two months when the most magical thing happened to me. The incident. I finished a closing shift at my current job and was passing by my old store. Closed for the day. When I saw two mice running around the lobby. I filmed it. Guess cutting corners and cleaning and health standards was causing a bit of a rodent issue. In a rush of pent up anger, watching my team get fired over nothing, watching Anthony struggle to eat, suffering at the hands of Jack myself, I posted the video to Instagram and tagged the store in it. I posted photos and links to the video on Yelp, Google reviews, the company page, the customer complaint email, everywhere. I figured at most. I was going to be the fly in his ointment and annoy him and the district manager. Then I sent the video of the mice to the department of health. A couple days later, the department of health served the coffee shop a notice, saying they were preparing to do a full inspection. I hear this news from my barista friends. A couple weeks go by and my current job has a turn in management itself. We weren't getting our legally mandated half hour breaks and I am put on 9 hour shifts with no meals. It was a smaller company with no official HR management training. So they thought they could get away with it. Thankfully, this small company's HR was much more sincere than the coffee shop HR. So I arranged a meeting. I stopped by my old coffee shop before my meeting to say hello to the few friends who still worked there. I noticed Jack and the district manager were there. I grabbed a water and sat down to organize my HR meeting notes. Not even a half hour later, 
the shift supervisor approaches my area and tells all the cafe customers to leave, as the health department has shut them down. She just turns to me and says, yes, it was your mice. They found out we have an infestation, then walks away. Jack and the district manager don't make eye contact with me. I gleefully return to my current workplace and tell Anthony how I was actually there to see justice happen. Justice that I started with my own hands. He tells my co-workers. Even my managers find out I shut down a whole store from one report. HR catches wind of this story before our meeting and I've never been in a more polite, apologetic HR meeting. My managers were reprimanded and we had all breaks restored to us. All the departed fire baristas took pictures in front of the Department of Health shutdown notice that was taped to the store door. The windows were shuttered up and the place was vandalized several times. They started the cleaning process and the inspector would return to clear it again. About two weeks after the store shut down, I get a call from the coffee shop's HR department. Apparently, whenever they have something like this happen, they look through the records of the store. Between the mass exit of seasoned baristas and the complaints made to the district manager and HR, they had a novel about my old cafe. The HR rep asked me why I left and the first words out of my mouth are, I left because of Jack the manager, and the district manager is complicit in his actions. They call all of the ex-baristas and a couple current baristas for their stories with Jack. All negative. Jack was fired and was banned from working with the company. He packed up and moved across the country. The fancy location was taken from the district manager and now he only oversees basic cafes. I got promoted at my current job to assistant director of the site. To oversee HR compliant overhaul to improve the workplace. Based on my knowledge of OSHA and state labor laws. A knowledge partly based on my extensive independent research I did when I was working under Jack. And partly because of my father's experience as a defense lawyer who passed down a deep understanding and appreciation for human workers rights laws. Anthony and the other fired baristas were offered their jobs back. Which Anthony accepted. He is in a better financial situation now. Some addition context based on PMs and comments I got. When I say the health inspector announced a full inspection. I'm using terms my barista friends used when they told me the dough stopped by. Since I didn't work there anymore. Jack went on a cleaning spree for the following days to hide the infestation get rid of the mice with cheap methods. I know this because a friend was complaining about basically being an exterminator in addition to a barista. During the investigation itself. The inspector pulled out a cash drawer and found droppings behind it. Which is what shut them down. I'm not sure what the actual protocol was. It was city level. Not state level. If that makes any difference to those who know the procedures of inspections. By popular demand. Yolo girl stole my phone from scene of accident and tried to extort money from me. So I posted this in some show her thoughts Yolo thread. Dozens of people have demanded that I repost it here. Was hit by a car while riding my bicycle. My backpack exploded and stuff was thrown everywhere. Witnesses helped me gather everything and police showed up. Someone took a bunch of pictures of the scene on their phone while ems and police did their thing. Not a bad accident. Only bumps and scrapes. Bike was ducked though. When they asked for my phone number so they could text the pics to me. I realized I didn't have my phone. In fact it was nowhere. I call my wife. Using a witness's phone. And she is hysterical. Someone stole my phone and was texting her saying. I found this guy's phone at a car accident and he has a lot of calls and texts to you so I'm trying to get his phone back to him. But I need $50. Looks like he buys a lot of stuff on Amazon so he can afford $50. YOLO. Now I was at the accident site for over an hour and these texts were all sent during this time. So after calming my wife down. We play along and find that the Dumbass who is extorting me for my phone works at some burger place downtown. She gave us the adders and said I can come in to make the exchange. She can't afford to miss work but needs money ASAP or phone gets pawned. Oh yeah, I showed up with the police who responded to the accident. The girl was furious. Yelling about how she deserves a reward for finding my phone. Etc. I pressed charges. I was beyond pissed at the whole situation. But eventually dropped them when I found out that she was fired for her conduct. So yeah. Duck YOLO. Also I now lock my phone. Edit. Gilded. Wahad. Thanks buddy. Yeah you should put an emergency contact number on your lock screen. 
Back up everything and don't be afraid to remotely break your device to prevent someone from turning a profit. Apps help too, I guess. Guy tries to force himself onto me. Ends up losing a testicle. Removed. Ro, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price. 